Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And today we're coming at you from God's country in Grayson County, Virginia. That's right. We are in Troutdale right now, and it's got some really cool history. So we're going to get on the road and show you this beautiful land and tell you the history. Do you know any, uh, any does this history have anything to do with trout or dales? No, no it odd. doesn't. Not that I know of. I mean, there. I think it, there's a lot of trout, and that's probably how it got the name. Okay. But anyways, <laughs> if you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, you know the drill. We do, and I just did a little circular to show that little building behind us. Just yes. To sneak it in. It's an old store or old hotel or something. I don't know. It's really cool. Let's get on the road and show some oranges. All right. Well, we're out here in no man's land when we have no access to cell phone service or people to tell us what this was, but it kind of looks like an old store or old hotel or something, doesn't it? It does, and Troutdale actually did at one time have a hotel okay so and it very well it actually had a couple of hotels really so it could have been that my mom said she thinks it was a store maybe back in the day and it could have went from that. a hotel to a store so or it could have been a saloon we don't know we're gonna get on the road though but yeah I'm... let's go show some other stuff yes. <laughs> Alrighty, so we pulled up the road just a tiny bit to show you a little bit more trout though including the welcome to trout Dale sign Mm -hmm. That's a pretty little song. It really is. Yeah. I didn't see it the first time through, so. And a couple of nice little pretty churches and an old stone building. It looks like it was a store or something, maybe. Yeah. And then there is that old hotel store, whatever <laughs> we were just looking at. Okay. So, if you could see on that Troutdale sign back there, it said it's the highest elevation incorporated town in Virginia. How cool is that? That is very cool. And Troutdale is actually an incorporated town in Grayson County. Population was 140 at the 2020 census. 140? Mm-hmm. We can probably so, count them all on our drive right now, couldn't yeah, we? Yeah, and we just passed a little post office, little bank. And you see these little buildings that looks like they were stores, and unfortunately they're not they are they are vacant right now. There's I was fire department. Yeah, I was floored to me turn over to that because I don't think the video picked it up. Yeah, it's a nice little fire department. Yes. And they actually have a uh, Troutdale Days, the second Saturday of August every year, with a parade and contest, food and that kind of thing. And the fire department actually sponsors that. How cool! Isn't that cool? Uh, you you said this had a pretty good population at one time, didn't you? It did. It was 2,800 That people. blows me away. 2,800. At, at one point, it was considered a boom town. And it had stores, a railroad depot with an electric power company, um, a chair factory, a, photo, a photograph gallery, a theater, a couple of hotels, a newspaper, and a soda pop factory. Boy, is that amazing? I know. I mean, I know explains a lot of these buildings do uh, don't look like homes. They look like old businesses of some sorts. Yeah. So the chair and furniture factories lost a big order from the Cuban government in the 20s. So then they went bankrupt and both burned down. So that kind of hurt the population and everything there, I'm sure. Yeah. Anytime you lose a factory. It's always a start of a downward spiral, it seems like. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, uh, that place is beautiful right there. You couldn't really see it, but a lot of old farmhouses and a couple of them have ponds like that one back there. But by 1925, um, the land around Troutdale was also timbered out and the lumber companies closed. So, not getting a lot on the drive that we are seeing, unfortunately, but there's a lot of Christmas tree farms out through here, too. Yeah. Well, you are seeing the fall foliage, so mm -hmm. that's something to be excited about anyway, right? Yep. And so the, there was a railway company here in Troutdale, um, and it connected with the main railroad line in Marion, but they were actually out of business and pulled up the tracks in 1943. So, lost a lot of industry and now population 140 but it is so peaceful out here um the town was actually chartered in 1906 and it still is a town with a council and a mayor wow i did not yeah, know that 
the town limit is a circle of one mile, a one mile radius. And in 1930, Carrie Wright was elected as mayor and she was possibly the first female mayor in all of Virginia. How cool is that? That is cool. Mm -hmm. So also, um, Sherwood Anderson lived out here and he spent his later years out here, especially in the summertime, Ripshin Farm. And it is a National Historic Landmark, and we're going to do a special little video about it separately. Because it deserves its own video, it yeah. It deserves its own video. It is so gorgeous. And trust us on that. You'll want to check that out. Yeah. So, I love Grayson County. This is where my mama and papa's family both were. And actually, on the road um, where Ripshin Farm is, is, you can get to my family cemetery and what we call the old home place. It's not there anymore, but you know, a little clearing where the house was. So it's really special to us. And it's just so beautiful. Yes, yeah, so you have a personal attachment. Mm -hmm, I sure do. So the town has an elevation of 3,300 feet and it is the highest incorporated town in Virginia, just like Hassan said. The town has no taxes, so that's a plus. Yeah. <laughs> and there's about 75 to 80 homes is the estimate, the last estimate. I wonder if that's a volunteer government down there, how that works. That's kind of interesting. I know. That is interesting. Um, the law enforcement and garbage collection services are county, so they're not provided by the town. So I would about think that you're right there. Funny how there's so many stereotypes about the, our area, of course, about, you know, being male-dominated and all this stuff, but then we had the mayor here, and then mm -hmm. you had the petticoat government in Clintwood, and yes. it's kind of cool to see things that were a little bit different Absolutely. than what a lot of people would think. Yep, and a lot of times there's stereotypes in the South and in our area about, you know, racism, and a lot of times it's the same way, you know, everybody was kind of the blue collar workers and everybody were more like equals. Yeah, especially in the coal mines as far as uh, when you were actually working, you know. Mm -hmm. The companies didn't necessarily treat everybody equal, but. Yeah, and kind of separated everybody, just kind of like the government tries to do now. Yeah. It, for yeah. a reason. Yeah, it's a control thing for sure. So. But the actual people and day to day people get along much better than people would like you to have to believe. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this look at Troutdale, Virginia. Yes, yeah, such a beautiful little drive. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channels, and we'll see you on down the road. We'll move it down to another boom town, won't we? That's right.